Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to Jackie's World. All right, y'all. So, of course, y'all know I like to come on on Friday and make a video. Happy Friday. How y'all doing on this smoking hot Friday? Ooh, chill. Y'all, this weather is off the chain, but we are in July. So, you know, what you gonna say? Y'all. I said, let me come on here for a few minutes and just uh, show you a couple of things I got. So today, I was trying to think about a video to do like a, some kind of dessert or something, but I was like, really, what I'm going to do? And y'all, you know that saying, early bird catches the worm? I never knew what that meant at first, you know, but it's true. Y'all, so I couldn't do my laundry yesterday. I was supposed to go after work and go do my laundry. It was so smoking hot out there, I couldn't do nothing. So I got up early this morning. Should have got up earlier. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start it off with this before we get into the video. So I get to the laundromat at 9 o'clock. It's already hot as you know what. H-E double hot is six out there. So I went on ahead and because I had snatched up my blankets and everything, y'all. I had tried, I said, let me try just do everything. One big bulk thing because I don't have no wash and dryer. But it's okay. It's all right, you know. So anyway, I said, let me see what time the hair store open up. So I throw my laundry in, wind up uh, running to the hair store at 9.30 in the morning, got my breakfast before I went to the hair store, got Burger King. And it was all right. I don't usually eat a Burger King, but Burger King was all right. Got a ham and cheese croissant. And the croissant, though, was like stale to me. So I'm like, I don't know where they had them croissants at. But anyway, so I get over there and I get in the store and I got all discombobulated looking at the hair because I was thinking about getting different hair. Number one. I don't really feel like doing it, but I'm just tired of looking at it. I'm tired of the headband, tired of trying to cover my gray, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to dye my hair, what I'm going to do. So, y'all, I spent money and got two different kinds of hair in the bag. You know, I'm just like, wow. So, I'm kind of like just all over the place trying to get it together because that heat is it's still hot as I don't know what. I still can't get it together. I'm trying to wash clothes and all that. So, y'all... I want to show y'all a couple things, okay? So I got some, um, I got some hair in the back. Y'all want to see the hair I got in the bag? Now see, I don't know which one I want to put on. I want to surprise you. So I don't know. But, um, let me see. I'm going to see if I can. No, because I got to get up and get it. You'll be surprised when you see it later on, okay? So anyway, look. So then I, I wind up, um, going back over there to put my laundry in the dryer, Hurry up and did that. Y'all, and I was done them clothes and everything by, what, 11 or whatever? Then I said, let me go and pay some bills and stuff. Then I went to the grocery store, y'all. Got groceries, thank the Lord. And um, <laughs> then went to the dollar store. But I didn't find nothing good in the dollar store. I was really looking for, um, you know what I was really looking for? I was really looking for, like, another table set up. Sorry, I can't set the table up for y'all today because I couldn't find anything. Ain't nothing in the Dollar Tree but back to school junk, y'all. So we, we ain't going to have that. We ain't going to have that table set up for a while unless I find something. But anyway, I feel like extremely exhausted by the time I did all that running. But I wanted to show y'all a couple of things. First off, I got to show y'all this. So I got a surprise uh, the other day. I had bought some, ordered some shoes offline. I ain't going to show y'all the shoes. Well, I know y'all want to see the shoes, right? But I got them right here close to me so I ain't got to get up and move out of the camera. So I'm trying to stay in the camera. So anyway, you know, I do that retail therapy when I'm a little down or whatever. So I um, ordered these shoes a couple days ago. But you know your girl is cheapo, cheapo. So I ordered them off a shoe show. And they one of them was $15 and the other one was $20. I'm going to show y'all. Because I got some, um, but I still wasn't going to order no more. So, you know, I ordered, like, the shoes don't nobody really wear. So I ordered these felines. Y'all ain't that cute. Y'all know that's that cute. Cute. Y'all know I like to say that. So, um, look, they even got a little design in the inside. Y'all. So I saw these. It was $15. You know, and it's okay that I'm cheap and I might not be stylish like everybody else. But I'm stylish for myself. So I got some leggings I can wear with that. So I was wondering, actually, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to find a striped shirt this color. With some blue jeans or something. Y'all, wouldn't that be fire? So, I don't have the shirt. But guess what? I'm not ordering nothing else. Because I went overboard on the hair. And I had already ordered hair off Amazon for $30. And then I bought these two different hair today for $80. So, 
Once I paid that big bill, that dentist bill, and them other bills, I was like, I'm done. Your girl is done. Your girl is done. But always remember to pay your bills first. Always remember that first. Okay, so. Then I bought these. They felized. These ones was 20. They men's, but I like that little drip paint on them. So I went on there looking for clearance. That's what I went on there looking for, clearance shoes. Because I, I wear these now a lot. And I know they don't cost a lot of money, and I shouldn't even got them. So now y'all got to get rid of two pair of old shoes I got in the closet. I got to get rid of two pair. And I forgot to say, hey, they cute. <laughs> so, and this is the, the website. If anybody wanted to see the website, I know I don't even go on there no more. Shoe show, shoe show com. Okay, so I got two pairs of shoes for $45. But guess what came to my mind? I'm going to tell you what came to my mind. Even though it was retail therapy, let me tell you what came to my mind. So my birthday is January the 16th, right? And I always don't like celebrating my birthday in January because number one, it's after Christmas. Everybody forget you don't get no good gifts, you know. And then just been sad and lonely and everything else. But even when I was a kid, I used to tell my mother, can I celebrate my birthday in the summer month, June or July? So that's what I thought to myself. July 16th is coming up, hey, over the weekend. So these two shoes... It's a gift to myself for my extended birthday celebration. Okay, celebrated in January, but I still was sad and, and all that. So we celebrate again. Cheer myself up. We celebrate again. Self-love is the best love, right? <laughs> yes, y'all, it is. So then my daughter had gave me this when she had bought my shoes. She gave me this little handcraft crochet thing, a little beginner kit, y'all. So I'm going to pull it out and show y'all because I had looked at it the other day. But Because I said I was on crochet, right? I ain't talking about crochet. What? Yeah. What is that? Corgi? Corgi? If I'm saying that right. Do it yourself, hand, hand, handy crafts. All right. And this show you exactly what to do. Like, I, I like it because it show you exactly what to do. Step by step by step. I don't think I'm making no doll. But it's got the, um, let me just pull it out so y'all can see. You got the little yarn in there. And I got some yarn, y'all. I got a lot of yarn. And I don't know how much she paid for it. But I guess she was just trying to get me something to cheer me up. Hmm. I don't even know if I open this thing right, y'all. So I can't get it out the bag. Okay, and I guess this is the what? Stuffing of the bag. If you do the bag, that's the stuffing. I don't know if I'm doing it bad. Is he funny looking to me? Y'all see what he look like? And then you got your little crochet stuff. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. But I think he just looks so funny looking. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to try to do something else. See what he look like? I don't know what he's supposed to be. Anyway, I'm going to use it because my daughter bought it for me. And I'm going to make a video. Remember I said I was going to start... Doing the crochet in my spare time. So since I done paid all my stuff out, paid all my bills and stuff, no more shopping the rest of the weekend. Well, probably the rest of the month. Hello, somebody. So this is something to sit in the house and do. This is for anybody else that needs to sit in the house and just keep your mind occupied, y'all. Y'all, you never realize how upset you still be about stuff. You know, even though you think that you're getting over it, and you feel like you and you praying about it. I I saw one of my relatives today, and um, he said I didn't know you wasn't married no more. I just found that out, blah 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 blah. And I was like, yeah. And I started talking about the situation, y'all, and got all up worked up again, you know. And I was like, Lord Jesus, help me. Anybody else is getting worked up, just relax, take a deep breath, and relax. Cause that's what I was thinking about, and I probably told y'all this before, but you know. We just going through this through this world. Like, this is not our permanent home, you know? And you can't take none of these things with you when you go away from here. You came in this world by yourself, and you're going to leave by yourself. You can't take them these people. You can't take your kids. You can't take these, these materialistic things. You know, and I keep hearing that scripture in my mind. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul, y'all? I just keep thinking that in myself. But I try to cheer myself up because, you know, we in this world right now. We got to keep on going with it and living and everything. But it's like, it just seems so, sometimes so just 
Mm. You don't even know what to say because all you hear about is people taking other people's life and all these bad things happen. So I try not to get on my channel and talk about that. I try to get on here and cheer people up because that's what I feel like I need an encouraging word. So I try to do that for other people too. But it's so hard sometimes because you feel like, you know, you just got the weight of the world on your shoulders. So you're trying to give out something that you might ain't even got enough of. You know what I'm saying? So send the love back, y'all. Send the love back. <laughs> you know, so that's why I be acting crazy and everything. But I thought that was so sweet of my daughter. And that's why I said, you know, you got blessings. You are blessed. Even though it's a lot of crazy things going on around us and in our lives. Uh, the blessings that I always count. And I got to say this. That I, I wake up, the Lord woke me up because it's something for me to do. That I have a roof over my head. That my bills are paid. That I got food on my table. You know what I'm saying? I got my health and strength. I got my children. And even if everybody walk away from you, God is always with us. He always with us. Okay? So, yes, you know, I might not be the best at times. But God right here by my side every day. All day. Hello, somebody. So... I want to just get on for a little bit. I know you might be missing me. I'm not going to have a video every day because I feel like some things are redundant. Then I feel like, you know, I don't want to keep copying and doing the same thing I always do. But I know y'all love me in the um, kitchen. Maybe I can think of something another time because y'all that heat done whip my tail today again and trying to wash all that stuff. I feel like an oily bag. I feel like I want to do my hair, but then again, I don't feel like it. And then I noticed something. Y'all, I noticed something. Every time I take my hair out and I be looking like a woolly mammoth, somebody will call me and come to that door, make it like they come to see me. People always come to see you, you know, when you tired. I noticed that. You ever notice that? It's always somebody that want to pop up and see you when you tired or when you looking your worst or both or and busy and you don't want no company. And I keep thinking today, like, maybe I'll take my hair out later on and redo it because somebody going to pop up at the door. But I can't go around and food that heat, y'all. I said, I ain't going back out there. I feel like that somebody was pouring water down my back when I was in that Dollar Tree. And somebody tell me this about the Dollar Trees. All right, I might be ranting on for a minute. But tell me this about the Dollar Trees. When you go on Dollar Tree, is it always freaking hot in there in the summertime? Like, they ain't got no kind of AC. I even said it to the cashier. She said, girl, you ain't lying. It's so hot to get. She said, I got one shoe on and one shoe off. She said, I feel like I need to take and go get some flips I put on my feet. I said, honey, woo chap, woo chap. But you know, it was, uh, ooh, it was, mm, that thing that drained me to beat me. But I was saying <laughs> that the early bird catches the worm because you done did all that. Like I went and did all of that stuff, washed clothes, went to the beauty supply store, went to a grocery store, went to the Dollar Tree, and back home by 2 o'clock. Y'all had it all that by 1.30. Got my breakfast and everything. And now, I done brought all my stuff in the house. I done put my food away. Got a freezer full of food. Thank you, Jesus. I put the food away. Just got to make the bed and put the clothes away. And hey, we can do that another day. Hello. The only thing I got to do is make that bed and get in it when it's time to get in. You feel me? So, y'all, I hope y'all having a good Friday so far. I hope, not. you know, that these messages, even though sometimes they might not be the best, encourage you and cheer you up. Okay? Because, you know, life can be so much worse. It could be so much worse. And we got to just say thank you, God, for every day, no matter what is going on, okay? So I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to keep you. I thank you for stopping by. I thank you for keep commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I thank you. I see some new subscribers still. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on here with you all because sometimes I'll be thinking like, I don't know, y'all. Do y'all ever want to just delete? I want to ask y'all this before I get off of here. I be ready every time I'm ready to close out. But I'm ready to close it out for real, though. I'm ready to close it out for real. Like the pastor said, you know, in the black church, we're coming to a close. I'm coming to a close. And they'll say they're coming to a close and we hold you for another hour and a half or something. But I'm not going to do that. Listen, y'all, and I got my bag back there. That's my laundry bag back there. If you see that bag in the corner, you know, because I know y'all be looking at everything around in the background and on the screen and everything, because I do too. So look, do y'all ever think about just counseling all your social media? I was sitting up there thinking, and I guess really, I wasn't thinking about it till after I got divorced, but it was just so much garbage and people want to smear things in your face and everything that um, I was like, I feel like I just want to delete the Instagram, delete Facebook, delete all of it and delete 
the YouTube, like the last thing would be the YouTube to go. Like keep the YouTube for a while and then that'd be the last thing to go. So I'm thinking about actually deleting everything and just holding on to one for right now. But anyway, I was thinking about back in the day when there was no social media and everybody was together and um, people was really talking to each other and everybody wasn't just in their phone. Like if, if, if I'm blessed and God sent me somebody, you know, I don't want somebody that's into social media. I want somebody that can put their phone down and let's just eat together, walk together, talk together. You ever think about that? Like I see people posting their whole lives like and it's like they got the best man or the best woman. And don't and don't get me wrong, I love to see married couples having a good time, but do you ever do you ever have any downtime off the camera? Do you do you ever sit down together and we're not recording? I don't want my life to be a recording and just bits and pieces where everybody think I got such an exciting life and it ain't. Is everything just a fake reality show? You know what I mean? And I know we doing it on YouTube to get to get paid and all that, but just kind of make you feel like ain't nothing real. Like it's nothing real. You know, like there ain't no wholeness, no nothing wholesome, no more, no family unit, no people sitting down eating dinner with no phone, with no pictures taken, with no posting on social media. Maybe I'm just old school. Or maybe that I'm getting older, things just don't matter like they like they was at first. You know what I'm saying? Get back to what's the real deal. And all this extra, this just gone on with it. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Think about that, y'all. Because that be on my mind. Like, I wish I could just go out without all the extra. Nobody recording nothing. You know, when we was kids, you could go with your family, go get an ice cream cone, go get a cookie, sit back in the restaurant for real, Hardy's, Roy Rogers, McDonald's, get a real burger. But things were really real. Now it just seemed like the food fake, the people fake, and everything else. Is anything real? Except the trees, the dirt, the air that we breathe. My God. Sorry, y'all. I don't went on a rant. Anyway. Anyway, thank y'all for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And, uh, while I'm still posting videos, keep coming back watching. You can go back and watch some of them old videos too. Even the ones that I screwed up on where I had a part one and a part two. Hey, if you ever get bored and you want to keep seeing me and I'm not posting, keep on just going on back to when I first started seven months ago. Hello, somebody. Go back to the beginning and watch me show my chair. Watch me show my blanket I bought. You know, how bored and lonely I was. And they ain't nothing to do. That's why I started my channel. But hey, if it, if it helps somebody, then it was worth it. All right, y'all. See you next time on Jackie's World. Bye.